You want me to put that on my todger? You've not got it. Harry's wife might be riding high off the back of her appearance at the Harry's Wife Games in Dusseldorf, having received copious amounts of fuel and the opportunity to manage her facade with regard to showing the world that her and Harry are still very much together and that she is a supposedly caring person. However, it's back to earth with a bump, because an article in Cheat Sheet from Lucille Barilla provides a stark reminder of what really is out there for Harry's wife in terms of the level of disapproval that people have for her. The Osborne family, yes, for it is they, sat down to discuss the royal couple just days after Prince Harry and Harry's wife returned to the limelight to usher in the sixth annual Harry's Wife Games. They shared strong opinions about the behaviour of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, leading Kelly Osborne to say, The proof is in the pudding. You don't have it. And that's okay. Now, you'll undoubtedly have your views about the Osbournes, but that doesn't mean that they're wrong with regard to their assessment of Harry's wife. Kelly Osborne, putting it out there, that she sees her as not having it. The it, one presumes, is some kind of talent and ability. In an interview with Piers Morgan, for it is he, the Osborne family, Sharon, Kelly, Jack and Ozzy, discussed their feelings regarding the behaviour of Prince Harry and Harry's wife. Kelly and Sharon previously spoke out about the couple, sharing they were none too fond of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. The proof is in the pudding, says Kelly Osborne. Well, what she meant to say is the proof in the, the proof of the pudding is of its eating. But she explained that with regard to the perception of Harry and Harry's wife, she stated, you've been handed the world and every major contract. You had podcasts and you didn't deliver. You don't have it. And that's okay. A slamming indictment to suggest that they don't have any ability, that they don't have any talent. Of course, we already knew this, but for more people to be saying it, doing so in a prominent fashion, and of course, involving Piers Morgan, who also finds himself with a nemesis status in relation to Harry's wife, means that she's facing yet more challenges to her. Kelly claims that Harry and Harry's wife have a right to privacy, citing why they stepped down as senior royals in 2020. However, the entertainer believes that doesn't seem to be what they're looking for, and it's another instance, of course, of somebody pointing out the hypocrisy of their behaviours. Kelly Osborne appeared in an episode of the I've Had It podcast, and made her feelings abundantly clear about the former senior royal in a segment called Hit It or Had It. She didn't hold back her opinions. I think Harry's a fucking twat, she said. I do. He's a fucking twat. Kelly continued. He's a whining, complaining, woe is me. I'm the only one who's ever had mental problems. My life was so hard. Everybody's fucking life is hard. The entertainment personality concluded... You were the prince of a goddamn country who dressed up as a fucking Nazi, and now you're trying to come back as the Pope? Suck it. Piggybacking on her daughter Kelly's statements to Piers Morgan, Sharon Osborne claimed that royal family expats Prince Harry and Harry's wife's actions have divided people more than brought them together. It's just insanity, she stated. Then it seemed that everybody was parted. Do you like them? Do you not like them? I'm for them. I'm against them. They were given far too much importance because of what they do. Despite what appears to be a united front by Harry and Harry's wife at the 6th Annual Invictus Games in Germany, Sharon does not have high hopes for the couple's longevity. It's going to end badly, she said. It just keeps taking me back to Edward and Mrs. Simpson. 
It's like history repeating itself. She continued, All this loving, holding hands, going everywhere together, it's so disingenuous. Come on, give us a break from all that. However, Sharon also feels for the couple's two children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. She alleges that the children will grow up with a sense of loss for what they do not have. I've said this so many times. Harry and Harry's wife are fine, but their children don't have any family, she states. No grandparents, no aunts, no uncles, no cousins, nothing. They're babies. They only have their mum and dad. And that is what is so terribly sad. Observations provided from not the most functional family, the Osbournes, but nevertheless, it doesn't mean that they are wrong in what they are saying. And it's another recognition that, first of all, they're hypocrites with regard to their behaviour, secondly, that they are a talent-free zone, and then thirdly, the fact that they have managed to isolate their children from their family, and that is a somewhat cruel thing to do. All of this, of course, is challenge fuel. Harry's wife is being spoken about, and therefore that provides her with fuel, but because it's critical, it amounts to a threat to her control. Were she to be aware of the content of this interview, she would naturally just dismiss it. Her narcissism would not direct her to contact Sharon Osborne to tell her to stick a sock in it, to threaten her into silence, her narcissism would deem that it was not necessary to go down such a route. Furthermore, it's unlikely to cause her to make a public pronouncement to smear the Osbournes. She may well do so privately, to say to Harry or to one of her flunkies, who the fuck do they think they are? Have you seen the state of their family? Who are they to judge us? Arseholes. And thus, undoubtedly, would receive agreement from the Prince of Pink Pancakes or the appropriate flunky, which would then give Harry's wife the subconscious sense of control that her narcissism craves. Most likely, she will, be, if she is aware of these comments, she will simply dismiss them. She will dismiss them as the rantings of a dysfunctional family who have no right to judge her. That she will tell herself they're clearly envious of me. Once again, people can't stand the fact that I have an idyllic life, that people love me, that I was the star of the Invictus Games, that I am wonderful, my husband adores me, people fall to the floor in gratitude whenever they meet me, I have two wonderful children, millions in the bank, I am Harry's wife, and I am amazing, and all of these poor wretches, the has-beens that are the Osbournes, are simply envious of my success because I am in the ascendancy. That is a level of delusion that Harry's wife operates under, and it causes her to adopt such a mindset so that she can then dismiss people from her supposed position of superiority and thus gain control through the third assertion of control by staying in a position of withdrawal. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.